for every American citizen who is 18 or older, I just want y'all to know that the Super Bowl and Beyonce and all of these other things that's going on in the world right now, don't let that, don't let them take off your focus. Like it's election year and these are the candidates. So of course we got the Republicans, Donald Trump, obviously. And then here we got Nikki Haley. She was an ambassador for our nation um, in the United Nations <laughs> and a governor of South Carolina. So the people in South Carolina um, who were old enough during 2011 to 2017, y'all should know something about her and y'all should chime in on this conversation. And then of course we got our already president Joe Biden, you know, doing a re-election. He want to be re-put in there with his 81 year old self. Um, there's a lot to be talked about for every single one of these candidates, but I'm going to just introduce you to them. And of course, um, Joe is Republican. Also Republican is Dean Phillips. Um, yeah, he's 55 years old. So when we talk about people being too old to be in office, he's one of the ones that's as young as it's going to get for right now. And while these people usually don't get talked about enough during the elections, it isn't just blue and um, red. There's also green. They're the independent, the third parties. And Mr. John F. Kennedy's ne nephew, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., is running for president. So, yeah, we're going to talk about him. But hold on. We got Cornell West. I'm really excited to talk about him and what he is bringing to the table so yeah and last but maybe not least who knows um we got jill stein she is also a third party um candidate so let me get to talking about everybody and what the main focus of their um campaign is talking about for why they should be elected mr f kennedy jr robert um he is against vaccinations uh because he thinks that Certain vaccinations have um, contributed to autism and chronic diseases in children. Um, he also doesn't want the media to be shadow banning people and things that contradict what the government is trying to make everybody believe and um, think about, I guess. Yeah. He's also um, addressing the fact that racial healing is uh, to be taken seriously, and he wants to make that a part of life for everybody when he becomes president, if he becomes president, because he thinks that, obviously, um, the world of colored people and indigenous people and immigrants are, you know, still, still, <laughs> still, yeah. They're still healing and being affected by what happened many and many years ago because we are only descendants and offsprings of what we are made from. So, yeah. And while we're on the topic of this subject, we're going to talk about Cornell West. He really, um, I don't know who he is, but his name kind of sounds familiar. Um, he's talking about the fact that minimum wage needs to be $27. And that right there is going to get it all... <laughs> That's going to get a lot of people like, oh, yeah, him, him for sure. Um, he's speaking about the fact that families need paid leave at least six months. He's talking about the fact that work should be four days a week only. Um, the needs of poor and working people need to be um, attended to. Yeah, he's hit all of him and his like whole campaign. He's talking real, real like deep stuff that uh, a white person or you know, the only person that could do something better than what he's talking about is a black woman, honestly. Um, but y'all can go read it for yourself. Uh, y'all see the little news thing down there. Y'all can go follow all the links and stuff. The NBC News, they got the whole like shade going on and you could just press source when you get to him um, to see his official site. But he's talking some really big things. Um, most of these people... Some of them are against abortions, but he um, he said that we should, you know, 
re-look at the facts before we say what should or shouldn't be done. Jill feels like we should end the wars because they're endless. She also feels like um, systematic discrimination against women, black, brown, indigenous, disabled, and LGBT people um, should end also. Um, she says she wants to invest in the green jobs and build an economic bill of rights so that people have um, access to housing, food, health care, education, um, living wage jobs, and basic security for a good life. And that's a pretty good statement there, Miss Jill Stein. And we all know what Joe Biden got going on. That's what's going on now. <laughs> Um, Joe basically is against national abortion, which, I mean, no, he's against the national abortion ban. Let me get that right. Um, he definitely thinks we should tax, tax the rich and provide aid to Ukraine to keep the Russian aggression at bay. Um, he pretty much didn't tell us a whole bunch of stuff on his website because basically it's whatever he's been doing this whole entire time. So I don't know if you like what he's doing already or not, but yeah. And Dean did not already missed the uh, filing deadline for one of the first um, nominated contests this year. So I don't know what he got going on. Um, but he used to be a U.S. representative from Minnesota. Um, but now he's running for presidency. He wants to enhance public safety by funding the police and first responders. And he wants to definitely look into mental health services for the whole entire community, especially first responders and people who go through things. He also thinks that immigrants should be able to come, but he wants them to come legally. And, you know, obviously, yeah. He also is one of the ones who thinks that um, whoever body is being looked at should be the ones um, finding out what to do with their bodies. So basically, he's not against abortions. And then, of course, we got Donald Trump. We already know what he was on when he was um, <laughs> in office, our former president. Um, his biggest campaign thing that he was talking about was upgrading the police. Um, and I think that's, overall, I think that's um, something that might need to happen, <laughs> uh, considering that people are going to war and stuff right now. But, yeah, he really didn't say too much about what he wanted to happen because we basically already know, I guess. Okay, the last um, candidate is Nikki Haley. Um, I'm going to tell y'all some things I miss about certain people in a minute, but Nikki Haley is basically, um, she was a South Carolina governor back in 2011 to 2017. She also was the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations in 2017-2018. She is very much against um, immigrants working illegally in the United States, getting paid under the table and all that kind of stuff. Um, so border security, she, she's, um, endorsing more security at the border. Um, she also, <laughs> she says that old people shouldn't be, um, into politics if they haven't passed a mental competency test. So 75 plus should, um, have to take that test, she said. And I agree with that a lot. Um, hold on. Let me tell y'all some things I miss about certain people. Okay, I forgot to tell y'all that uh, Mr. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is a lawyer, environmental lawyer. Um, so he definitely talks about the environment in his um, campaign. He thinks that the police need to be retrained to be mediators and de-escalators. And I agree with that. Um, he says that they should be a part of the community, um, targeted community repair. So... Yeah, he also, again, he does not like the racial discriminancy things, discriminat discriminatory, hold on, discriminatory, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. She, he doesn't like racism. He doesn't like racism. Also, one of the ones I really like, Cornell um, West, he said in his campaign on his site um, that he wanted to bring up the fact that Black people are still um, in, what is that called? They basically, what is that called? They need, like, money. Basically, that somebody should be paying the black people for their suffering that they had to go through. Basically saying that, what is that called? I forgot. What is that when you need to pay somebody? Somebody's supposed to be getting reprimanded or something. I don't know. Um, but basically, he said that black people should be getting, black and brown people should be getting paid for 
the things that happened. Y'all know what happened. And I definitely agree. Y'all definitely got to do y'all own research, though. So I just told y'all a couple things.